Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have another Fly OOBE app update. And these updates for the Windows 11 Bypass app are rolling out quite fast and furious. Now, version 1.30, which is now the latest release, rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world. And Fly OOBE is not just a app that helps you get past the system requirements to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. It also provides additional tweaks and debloat capabilities. So quite a lot has now been bundled into Fly OOBE. And I'll leave the previous video I posted on the app and app updates link down below in the end screen just for you to connect the dots if you've missed one or two because these Updates are rolling out quite fast, as mentioned. So taking a look at what's new in version 1.30, which is now the latest release. Now, this is a WinPilot release, according to the developer. And the first new feature or the new improvement to roll out with version 1.30 is a new clean and logical menu structure following Microsoft's UI guidelines, according to the developer, who says the navigation is now divided into install operating system and set up operating system, which I actually think is a nice move. Just put in install operating system and set up operating systems, basically pre and post. And I think that makes a lot more sense and is a nice move in the right direction. Now, the next big update with this app is, as I mentioned, it's the WinPilot release where the developer has added a WinPilot button next to the Fly OOBE branding in the tool strip menu. Now, this is not to be confused with the old WinPilot app, and you can launch it by clicking the button. And obviously, if you click run, it'll run that. And although Windows is flagging it, it's fine to run. It's all okay. And once you've launched it, it can offer guarded help for inexperienced users. And the developer says, while it is not fully automated, such an option might arrive in future updates. So that will be something to look out for. And then I would say the third key highlight for version 1.30 is extensions are now organized by category. So if you click on and double click on finalize setup, you can see you've got extensions and then you've got post setup, which now has its own extension group. And I actually think that's a nice move in the right direction. So quite a lot going on here with organizing the app into different categories which I think just makes navigating the app a lot better so those I would say are the three key highlights and then just to focus on some fixes and other improvements I'm just going to mention these very quickly the developer says a network OOBE bug has been fixed where more than one network could be marked as connected they fixed an installer issue that could prevent some apps from installing correctly, fixed two small DPR scaling issues, removed several test flags used for nightly builds. Now, nightly builds are the early preview versions of the app, which you can download over on GitHub if you so wish. There's also various small UI and layout adjustments and minor efficiency improvements and smoother navigation, which I've mentioned already, that smoother navigation. So quite a lot going on here with this WinPilot release to version 1.30. And remember, the download link will be in the description if you'd like to get your hands on the app. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.